Welcome back to Seashorn Vlog. Uh, today I'm going to take you through all of the rides at Bush Gardens that I've ridden and rank them from my least favourite all the way up to my favourite. And there are a couple that I don't like in this list. So if you want to have a guess at what my favourite ride at Bush Gardens is, or my favourite couple of rides, leave a comment down below now and then see if you're right at the end. Let's dive right in um, and we'll start off with a couple of honourable mentions for rides at Bush Gardens that I haven't done. So Falcon's Fury, I have yet to ride this, it terrifies me just the look of it. Um, I have a feeling that when I actually do ride it I might enjoy it, um, so next time I'll, I'll ride it and then we'll see where that appears on the list, but that won't make an appearance uh, in this list today. The second honourable mention is for a roller coaster that at the time of recording is not open, uh, and that's Iron Gwazi. I never got to ride Gwazi, Iron Gwazi looks not only amazing but terrifying and I really want to ride this one so I can go Aussie. Um, and also in my list I won't be including any of the kids rides either. So let's start with my least favourite ride at Bush Gardens and it's the Sand Serpent which is a wild mouse coaster um, over near Falcon's Fury and it's not even worth talking about. It's terrible, it hurts, it's painful, it's just rubbish. Um, so bad that I don't, don't even have any footage of it. It's just a terrible, terrible roller coaster. So we're moving on from that. The next one in the list is Scorpion, which I think was Bush Gardens' first ever roller coaster. Certainly one of the oldest there, and you can tell. Um, but it is actually quite a bit of fun. It's got a really small, tight loop, um, and that's it. The rest of it is just going round and round and in circles. But it is a fun ish ride, um, although quite forgettable. It's fun while you're on it, as soon as you get off it you're like, well, is that it? So that is the Scorpion. Next in my list is one of the big roller coasters, Comeback. I don't have any footage of this roller coaster either, um, I've only ridden it once and it kind of hurt and I didn't really enjoy it that much. It's like I don't know um, how to describe it. Maybe maybe like a bit like cracking over at SeaWorld, just not as good. Um, so that's why Cumbers are really, really low down in my list. It's over at the back of the park uh, behind the Congo River Rapids. And yeah. Next in my list is Cheetah Hunt. And I got to ride this for the first time on my last trip. And I was really, really disappointed in this ride because I was looking forward to it so much. Um, everybody told me how great it was. The point of views looked fantastic. I got on it, started off really, really well, um, minus the little delay in getting on because of the Vomit Comet and, and things like that that were going on with this ride. But the launches on it are brilliant. Um, it does have a few slow bits, which are like, mm, a little bit boring. Um, and then the launches take you off. Uh, the inversion, the Heartline roll that's on there, don't even notice that it happens, it's that quick, uh, and that's the only inversion. Um, but the reason why this is quite low down in my list is it hurt me a lot. So it was fun to ride, but it really hurt my shoulders riding this roller coaster. And if it wasn't for that, it would probably be up there in my top three um, if it wasn't for the shoulder pain. Everything else about the, the ride I, I pretty much loved. That's Cheetah Hunt. Next on the list is Stanley Falls, um, which is a log flume riverboat attraction. It is quite a long ride um, and there are a few drops. You do get quite wet. Um, I rode this with Jason and Nathan on the last trip, um, so here's a little bit of footage of the big drop. Ah! And that was, it was just so much fun. We rode this after we'd just done the Congo River Rapids just to get all the water in one go. Um, and Loved every minute of it. So Stanley River, Stanley River Boat, River Falls, Log Flume is fun. Quite like that one. Next in the list is the Congo River Rapids, um, which is the other water ride at Bush Gardens. Um, this is a River Rapids ride, um, and again you can get quite wet on it. Um, it starts off a little bit slow, um, and there are parts where you think you're not going to get very wet, and then all of a sudden it'll turn and you'll just get absolutely soaked um, and that happened to me um, I thought I'd got all the way through that ride with only a couple of splashes and then right at the end this happened yeah 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 y
It's going to be rapid. It's, the key is in the name. Rapid. This is going to spin the when it hits her. That got absolutely sold as you saw. So that was Congo River Rapids. It's fun. Go and give that a try. Now we're into my top four. So my fourth favourite ride at Bush Gardens in Tampa is Cobra's Curse, which is just a great family coaster. So much fun. It spins, but it's a pretty controlled spin. It doesn't spin too much until the end. Uh, the end is where you get a lot of the spin, but for the first half of it, it doesn't spin too much or too badly. Um, I really love the lift hill mechanism on this one because it's it rises you up while the track comes down and then you go straight into the into the cobra snake um, and then start your spinning and you and you're riding around and it's just such a fun family friendly roller coaster I really like Cobra's Curse. So now it's time for the top three. So in third place uh, for my favourite ride at Bush Gardens is Montu which is um, like Nemesis on steroids, if you like. Uh, Nemesis is a roller coaster at Alton Towers in the UK. The Montu is like that, just tenfold. So much fun. It's really high. All of the loops. Um, it's a, an inverted coaster, so you're underneath the track hanging. Uh, and yeah, I just love, 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 love this ride. Um, and I think Jason did as well. Um, here's a couple of clips of Jason's bits. <laughs> Yeah, so I think he enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, really, really fun. So that's Montu um, at Bush Gardens. It's my second favourite ride, and it's really, really close between these two, um, which one is my favourite. But my second favourite ride at Bush Gardens is Tigris. Tigris, the very first time that I rode it, when I got off, I was speechless. Um, I was breathless, I didn't know whether I loved it or hated it, um, and I only got to ride it that once. I went and did it again and absolutely loved it, so I've decided that I love this and it's definitely very close to my favourite ride at Bush Gardens and just overall favourite ride and it is such a fun launch coaster. You launch three times and you launch straight out the station, back and forward in and out of that station and then you've got the loops and it's just brilliant. As you saw, Peter loved it as well. That's Tigress. Which means my favourite roller coaster in Bush Gardens is Shikra. And I can ride this over and over again. Tigress, I probably can't, so that's why that is my number two. But Shikra, I can ride over and over again. Um, half the ride is just relaxing on your back, going up that lift hill, going around the top, where you can get a very good view of Tampa and the surrounding area. That's really, really peaceful and relaxing. And then you've got that drop, and that drop. <laughs> Oh my god, that takes your breath away. Oh, my breath away. Um, and then you whiz around a little bit and you've got another smaller drop and it's just fantastic. I've ridden this during the day, I've ridden it at night, I've ridden it in the dark. It's a brilliant, brilliant roller coaster and I love it. That Shikra is my favourite ride at Bush Gardens. Um, and that is all of the rides at Bush Gardens ranked, in my opinion. If you disagree with anything, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favourites are. Um, and in the meantime, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. There's lots more videos like this on the channel and would love it if you gave it a thumbs up as well. Everyone, stay safe at home, keep making memories. I'll catch you later for another top video.